Hello friends, today I'm gonna be working on day 10 for the prompt list for the Fember Ember and it is about leaves and envelope. So let's do this. I'm going to be using this nice leaf that I have. I painted with the green acrylic paint. It's gonna be my leaf. And for an envelope, I'm going to show you what do I have here. So I have these templates. I'm going to be using this template here, that is this one. And also I am going to be using this second template, that is this one. It's folding this way. So we need to cut it going around with scissors for this template here. I got this envelope and for this template I have this envelope here all right so before you cut the envelope what you can do is you go around with a oil pastel that's what I did so you go all the way around Also in the points that you're gonna be folding your envelope this way this is already fold and this is already fold then gently with your finger you just go and distress it a little bit like this before you cut your envelope by the way, I need to tell you that I'm using this paper coming out from a bag from a store. So for Christmas, they have this amazing, amazing design. So I'm using this bag to do all my projects. Once you have all this distressed this way, you're going to cut the envelope. Can you have a template for an envelope? You can use any envelope you have at home or any envelope you like. Open your envelope and you trace it on a paper, on a cardboard, on a stock board, and then you do your template and you can keep it. On the template, place the upper part so you'll know which way the upper part is gonna go when you fold your envelope so we have this one that will be the upper part so i'm going to leave the brown part outside this is the way it's going to look that way and here so this way we have our envelope you see and this one i fold it using the picture out. So this one I'm using the brown part. I am going to use this house. I love the way it is. Probably this part with the sparkles on, with the little splatters. So I'm going to use this part here. Let me take this out. And probably I can go here and just separate where the glue was okay this is gonna be our paper I have my owl here I haven't shown it to you and so this owl is a little bit shiny I just cut it from the magazine and I glue two layers of this paper on the back so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna sand it a little bit with the this is a nail sand and take away some of the shine that I didn't want it to have and make the white coming out more. You see the difference? This kind of a little bit of thread probably I can use on the bottom part of the owl. Okay, let's do this.
Let me do something first. I'm gonna cut this here so I can have a better idea of my space. Actually, I have all the length of the bag. So this is okay. I can have my envelopes either here. They can be also here or there. I prefer them to go on top of the owl. This was the idea, having the two envelopes. What about having just one envelope? I think I'm going to go with one envelope. Let me place the leaf. I'll do... Oh wow, I have an idea. I better do it this way. I'm not going to be using the thread. Instead, I want the leaf to be the substrate where the owl is. the shape of the owl to fit perfect into the leaf that way this is perfect this is the good thing about junk journals and crafting you can always go back and change things all right and then to finish this project I have these two leaves I made out of that wooden leaf. I trace this leaf on and I'm going to finish them, giving them their veins. I painted with this acrylic green paint, orange. As nice to apply to this and green is my favorite color so I'm just gonna go with a touch of orange it's just to give a little that sense of a different shades and colors and these leaves are going into the envelope. Actually, we can have a quote in the back, like something glue it in the back, a message, and this is the project. So my final step is going in here and just check leaves and envelope. See you in my next chapter. Well, so far this is my project for today's prompt that was envelope and owl. I think it's really cute. Now I have all this long bag and what I'm going to do is I am going to fold it in half and just leave it like that. Remember that this is an ephemera that we're doing and that we can use in our journal so I'll never know if I want to use that back part to write or if I want to make a pocket I promise I'm going to make you a video about placing all this ephemera into a journal I'm going to trace the owl with probably a yellow and I want this envelope a little darker so you can see better from outside to finish the project I'm going to go with a little splatters on my owl so I'm gonna use this acrylic this is a ultramarine blue because I'm thinking about this blue I have over here. So I'm gonna do the splatters.
Wish me good luck. And I need to cover my owl's eyes. Okay, get ready for the splatters. And also I'll go with a little bit of black here. to blend it into the paint and to have the silhouette very, very marked. And with a little brush, let me use this one here. I am going to just blend a little bit of blue around the owl. Now I am ready <laughs> and this is my final result. Let me know in the comments what do you think. I think I'm in love with the splatters and with the owl and all the splatters on the envelope and my little leaves as a treasure hidden in this part of the ephemera. And well, I thought that my project was finished just like this, but looking for a bunny for tomorrow's ephemera, look what I got. This amazing owl. So I am thinking to glue it on top of this one because it's really, really different. Look at the contrast. So this is what I have. And this is going to be the new owl. And I'm going to leave just these two little ears coming out from there, these two little bunch of feathers, and it's going to be like as part of the new owl. So I'm sorry, but I need to change the old owl by this really nice and colorful owl that I just loved. To go like that. Look at the difference. I'm really in love with this owl now. What do you think? Let me know in your comments. So now it's time to say goodbye. I see you tomorrow and I'll be waiting for you in my next ephemera in this December Ember 2022. Bye bye. Bye friends. Bye. In here and just check leaves and envelope.